BrainWise presents Grade 6, Science Quiz B, Part 4 Hold on to your lab coats, explorers! We're diving headfirst into a whirlwind of scientific wonders with 20 electrifying questions! Let the scientific games begin! Number 1 Which of the following is a renewable source of energy? Again which of the following is a renewable source of energy? The choices are A. Coal B. Natural gas C. Winged deep oil The correct answer is C. Winged Number 2 what is one advantage of using solar energy? Again, what is one advantage of using solar energy? The choices are A. It is available at night B. It is always consistent C. It is environmentally friendly D. It is very inexpensive to set up The correct answer is C. It is environmentally friendly. Number 3. What does energy conservation mean? Again, what does energy conservation mean? The choices are A. Using more energy B. Wasting energy C. Saving and reducing energy use D. Finding new energy sources The correct answer is C. Saving and reducing energy use. Number 4. What is an energy audit? Again, what is an energy audit? The choices are A. A test to see how much energy is being used. B. A device to generate energy. C. A method to transport energy. D. A way to create new energy resources. The correct answer is A. A test to see how much energy is being used. Number 5. What is energy transformation? Again, what is energy transformation? The choices are A. Creating new energy B. Destroying energy C. Changing energy from one form to another D. Storing energy indefinitely The correct answer is C. Changing energy from one form to another. Number 6. Which of the following is an example of energy transformation? Again, which of the following is an example of energy transformation? The choices are A. A rock sitting on the ground. B. A light bulb producing light. C. A frozen ice cube. D. A glass of water. The correct answer is B. A light bulb producing light. You're a science superstar. You've made it this far. So keep going. Great discoveries await. Let's continue. Number 7. What is energy efficiency? Again, what is energy efficiency? The choices are A. Using more energy than needed. B using less energy to perform the same task. C. Wasting energy. D. Ignoring energy use. The correct answer is B. Using less energy to perform the same task. Number 8. Which of the following is a way to improve energy efficiency in transportation? Again, 
Which of the following is a way to improve energy efficiency in transportation? The choices are A. Driving alone in a large vehicle B. Using public transportation or carpooling C. Driving at high speeds D. Using old, inefficient engines The correct answer is B. Using public transportation or carpooling. Number 9. What is one advantage of using wind energy? Again, what is one advantage of using wind energy? The choices are A. It is always available. B. It is very cheap to set up. C. It is a clean source of energy. D. It is very consistent. Answer. C. It is a clean source of energy. The correct answer is C. It is a clean source of energy. Number 10. What is the role of energy in everyday life? Again, what is the role of energy in everyday life? The choices are A. To create new resources B. To power devices and systems C. To pollute the environment D. To waste resources The correct answer is B. To power devices and systems. Number 11. Which of the following is not a form of energy? Again, which of the following is not a form of energy? The choices are A. Light B. Heat C. Matter D. Sound The correct answer is C. Matter. Number 12. Which of the following is an example of a renewable energy technology? Again, which of the following is an example of a renewable energy technology? The choices are A. Coal-fired power plant B. Nuclear power plant C. Wind turbine D. Gasoline-powered generator The correct answer is C. Wind turbine. Number 13. What is the benefit of using biomass as an energy source? Again, what is the benefit of using biomass as an energy source? The choices are A. It is a fossil fuel. B. It releases greenhouse gases. C. It uses organic materials that can be replenished. D. It is very expensive. The correct answer is C. It uses organic materials that can be replenished. Number 14. What is the main advantage of hydroelectric power? Again, what is the main advantage of hydroelectric power? The choices are A. It releases greenhouse gases. B. It is a clean and renewable source of energy. C. It is very expensive to set up. D. It is not reliable. The correct answer is B. It is a clean and renewable source of energy. You are doing such a good job! The last few questions are coming up. Remember to breath and think. You can do it! Number 15. What is the main disadvantage of using nuclear energy? Again, what is the main disadvantage of using nuclear energy? The choices are A. It releases greenhouse gases. B. It produces radioactive waste. C. It is not reliable. D. It is very cheap. The 
The correct answer is B. It produces radioactive waste. Number 16. What is the benefit of designing energy efficient devices? Again, what is the benefit of designing energy efficient devices? The choices are A. They waste more energy. B. They use less energy to perform the same task. C. They pollute the environment. D. They are very expensive. The correct answer is B. They use less energy to perform the same task. Number 17. How does using public transportation contribute to energy conservation? Again. How does using public transportation contribute to energy conservation? The choices are A. It increases fuel consumption. B. It reduces the number of vehicles on the road leading to lower overall energy use. C. It has no impact on energy conservation. D. It promotes the use of personal vehicles. The correct answer is B. It reduces the number of vehicles on the road leading to lower overall energy use. Number 18. What is the impact of deforestation on energy resources? Again, what is the impact of deforestation on energy resources? The choices are A. Deforestation has no impact on energy resources. B. Deforestation increases the availability of renewable energy resources. C. Deforestation can lead to soil erosion and loss of biodiversity, indirectly affecting energy resources. D. Deforestation promotes sustainable energy practices. The correct answer is C. Deforestation can lead to soil erosion and loss of biodiversity, indirectly affecting energy resources. Number 19. How does the concept of carbon footprint relate to energy conservation? Again, how does the concept of carbon footprint relate to energy conservation? The choices are A. It has no connection to energy conservation. B. It measures the amount of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere as a result of energy consumption. C. It encourages the use of more energy. D. It promotes wasteful practices. The correct answer is B. It measures the amount of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere as a result of energy consumption. Number 20. What is the impact of population growth on energy consumption? Again, what is the impact of population growth on energy consumption? The choices are A. Population growth has no impact on energy consumption. B. Increasing population leads to higher energy demand. C. Population growth promotes energy conservation. D. Population growth and energy consumption are unrelated concepts. The correct answer is B. Increasing population leads to higher energy demon. You're a science rock star! You finished the quiz and showed how smart you are. Never stop asking questions and discovering new things. Great job! Smash the like button, share the quiz, and subscribe for the next one. Take care! Until next time! Awesome job! Drop your score in the comments and let us know how you did. Check out other videos from BrainWise.